ladies and gents, welcome back to Fulham, Craven Cottage. We are here today to play Brighton and Hove Albion. This is a home match, uh, but let's get into the notes. So, as you can see, we are sitting in second place. Four wins, zero draws, one loss, uh, four goal differential, not great. Twelve points. Before you say I cheat, look at the rest of the table. Let's see, going down, Chelsea are only in sixth, 3-0-2. Oh, uh, Man City are in 10th, 2-1-2. Everton in 11th, eh, whatever. Uh, but Man United, 1-1-3. One, one, they are not doing very well at all. So the bigger teams, minus Liverpool, minus Tottenham, are not doing great, which is why we're in second place. We also have not had the hardest of schedules at the beginning, and I'll show you that in a minute. Tottenham in uh, third. West Ham has been storming it, though, with wins against Huddersfield, Chelsea, and the Wolves. But... Uh, it's five games in, so we'll see how things turn from there. So, schedule. There we go. Looking pretty fantastic, I have to say. So, last time up, 3-2, narrow win over Southampton with the goal. What was the goal in the last 90th, in the 90 plus 3? Arsenal, though, we did get our asses handed to us 1-3. to three, Surely oh, with the only goal. However, we did pick up a 25k fine for excessive yellow cards. It's actually happened again. But Watford absolutely crushed them. I don't know what happened. Was that? No, that it was just we got booked a couple times, but we steamrolled them somehow. I don't know how that happened. QPR in the Carabao Cup second round. Uh, They're still in the championship. So 2-0 over them. We are picking up yellows left and right. Le Marchand and Ryan Sachina did pick up little knocks. They, I don't know if they were in for the Wolves game. Uh, yeah, they, Ryan Sachina was. Uh, Marchand was on the bench. But 1-0 win, nothing too bad. However, if you notice up here, they had two red cards. And we only won by one. That was very annoying. I mean, the second red card was in the 88th minute, but still, that would have been terrific to actually get a little bit more than a 1-0 win. So, Man United, we get two. We did push up the DM role into that AMC role. Tom Kearney took over that position for this game. In the pre-match setup or the, the reports, I was told by my assistant manager that this is A, the same tactic that Man United use, which I already know, and B, it is one that they concede most against. So I figured, why? let's try and take the fight to them, see if that works. I know in real life when Liverpool are pressed and pressed and pressed, they have a really hard time until later on and they can finally break teams down, but... This one, I decided to push that player up, and it's something I've been thinking about for a little while, and I'm thinking of doing it for this Brighton match. It It is a little more attacking. It is takes that DM role away. However, with the attackers we have, I, I'm going to... Liverpool is always in my head, so it's kind of like that front area of Liverpool that you've got a fairly good set of attackers and not the greatest of defenders, and that obviously this was before Van Dyke came in. But I'm kind of hoping for that the best defense is offense right now. So in January, I think I'm going to be bringing in some a defender or two. We'll see. But so this Man United game, excessive red cards again, another 25K fine. So I'm pretty sure the board is getting pissed off at that. However, we did win against Man United 1-0 at Old Trafford. Sergio Rico with a 7-6. That is the highest goalkeeper rating I have seen in this game. Period. So, absolutely fantastic. Everyone else, Mitrovic at a 6'4", uh, but when you have Tom Kearney at a 7'0", right behind him, not too shabby. And then who's that? Uh, Alf Alfie Mawson is back. Tim Ream is also back in the fold. No more injury for him. I think he's just coming back. Uh, you know, he's just getting into fitness. So, we will see. But today is Brighton and Hove Albion at home. Green kid, I don't remember that. So we are strong form. We are odds on favorite. Uh, I think I am going to push up. I, like I said, I'm going to keep this person right here, Tom Kearney, and uh, let let me pick this team and we'll get back. So this is the team we have going out today. Rico stays in goal. Cessna, Le Marchand, Mar Mawson, and Chambers in the back four. McDonald and Sari in the midfield. Shirley, Shirley, Kearney, Vieto, and Mitrovic up top. So I am... Kind of putting Le Marchand in there, even though, uh, who? well, Fosu Mensah is on the bench. I, you know, I don't know. I don't want to switch things up too much. I don't think we have too many games coming up uh, too fast. So we got the 21st, and then on Wednesday, and then on Saturday. So 
yeah, Arsenal, I, I'm not expecting much from. So let's actually submit this team and get to the match. And off we start. I love... We have been on the attack for, for the past couple of matches, right off of kickoff. And instead of passing it back and then kind of passing it around and then forward, we just pass it back once and then straight up. It's kind of interesting. So 91%. Oh, nice tackle by Sari. Up to Sherla, who is central, but not sure what to do with it. Up to Sari. All the way back to Chambers. What is he going to do with it? <laughs> straight into McDonald. Over to Sessegnon. Passing it around. Sessegnon. Off of Matty Ryan. That's his name, right? Matthew Ryan? The Australian keeper. So Sari cannot get a good... Well, I guess he got it on to target. But then Sari gets taken out. No foul again. Insane. Luckily, though, we steal it back. But So Sari gets tackled. Apparently, he's not very strong. Kearney. Uh, I don't know why he shot. There was a man right in front of him. Obviously, because it bounced off of him in, <laughs> for the corner. But Kearney is making his hand signals. Gets it to nobody, but it's out for a throw-in. Follow us on Twitter, Bootstack. I guess these are advertisements that help pay for the game. So, throw-in by Le Marchand. Bad throw-in, apparently. Sari McDonald back heels it to Le Marchand. He, ooh, he's able to pass it to, back to someone, but uh, these guys cannot keep hold of a ball. Oh, Sari with the corner. Oh, Ryan, literally with the Superman tactic, is flying out of goal to catch that ball. So 35 minutes in, Sessegnon with a <laughs> Shirley pass. Why didn't you? Oh, off the bar. I don't know why Shirley didn't shoot it right then and there. He does every now and again have an issue with that, where he will pass it off where... He's like right in front of goal, and he could have just knocked it past him, but I don't know. Kearney needs to pick it up. 6-5, Mitrovic at a 6-5. Sari with a free kick. No. What is in there? Wheaties. No, I am not making a mis Just because a player is making mistakes, I'm not going to sub him off too early. Unless we're already down like 5 now. Come on. I thought Mitrovic's one, or one of his positive was his strength. But he gets absolutely demolished. So surely... I mean, this is like me playing FIFA. And a weak shot. What are you guys doing? It's like they're trying to hit us on the counter. That's exactly what they're doing. But me playing FIFA is running into an opponent, getting it immediately stolen, and then they've got a counter automatically. And this is exactly what this team is doing right now for some reason. Oh, that was a bad pass. Shirley, Kurt, oh my god, you two. This is like watching the real life Fulham. And my chair is going at it again. But what is going on with this team? Are we set up for like another 70 to 80 minute goal? So Kearney is coming off for Luca De La Torre. Uh, he just wasn't doing much, Kearney. Why aren't you making the change? So we'll see what happens. I'm hoping Delatore can actually do some work. Why? Why, FM? There's no need for this. Absolutely no need. Absolutely pathetic. No, I can't demand more. And you guys are just letting him go. Wow, that was a shot. So, Shirley at a 6-5, not doing well. See, how are you getting so much possession, but you can't... I mean, I understand Brighton is... Look, look at that! You guys can snake your way through all these different people, and no, it's not a goal. Okay, skip, Jesus Christ. But you can snake your way through, but you... Uh, you're not doing anything in the end. So, what is going on? And like I said, I was Brighton is playing with all men back pretty much, except number 9 here. So, obviously they're going to be on the defensive, but still... So, we're playing around a little. Um, Vieto is tired, so he's coming off. Matt O'Reilly is coming on. 
And Luca Della Torre is actually going into the spot that Vieto had. And that could be a bad idea. As they run down the pitch. Thank God for that. But still, you got to come down with the ball. You guys have two minutes to get a goal and bring a single point out of this. Oh! What are you doing, Delatore? You were right there! Just stick a leg out! Oh, but it's a corner to Sari, who is tired. Mitrovic, run a little faster, please. I gotta figure out what his work rate is, because it's not impressing me right now. So, five minutes. I mean, do I do overload? Overload has never worked for me. Sari! Oh, assisted by Matt O'Reilly. I'm glad I brought him in. He needs to start a little more, I think. Um, he's definitely going to be getting a lot of game time because he's got to grow and he's already fantastic. So O'Reilly over to Sari. It looks like it might have gone off the knee of the defender. So, but I will take it. What I mean, that's our second 90-plus minute win. Or not win, but goal. So can we get another? No. Not at all. 6'6", six, six, not great. Delatory to 6'5". Uh, oh, you've got to be kidding. I was... I, I fully thought that was going to go in. Predicted a narrow win. Did not happen. Oh, well. 27 shots, 10 on target, 66% possession. 17 total fouls. Can you go to the dressing room? Yeah, that was a disappointing performance. Um, Shirley, I think it's funny that he's a highly influential player when he's been part of the team for two months. But, so let's see, Fulham rescue a late draw, yeah, Alfie, one to two days, okay. So, Southgate spotted at Craven Cottage. Oh, the uh, Kamara was also spotted. So, send the assistant, I don't care. But that leaves, schedule-wise, Carabao Cup, I am not going to worry about. So I'm going to try and bring it back. Uh, Burnley, West Ham. Ooh, West Ham might actually be an interesting one. So that'll be next time. So that's going to do it for me today. Uh, it was not a great game, but at least it's not a loss. We got our first draw of the season. Not too shabby, I guess. But anyway, for me, Safi and FM, thank you so much for watching. Take care and enjoy.